Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. You are now tuned in with Trophy. Go Trophy. We can lie, crack toes, be open. Go Trophy. Only with Trophy. Hey, Tro Squad. Welcome back to another video. I'm in the restroom, so y'all already know what's about to go down. So I have a wig that I'm installing today. This is by Love Me Hair. This is my first time ever trying this type of wig. This is like the kinky hairline type of wig. This is a 4C wig. So this is great if you have natural hair. It just make, it has like a natural hair look from all the videos I've seen. It just looks like really natural, you know, like not no slick hairlines this is like your texture of hairline okay y'all can see it better right there so y'all can see that the hairline is a little kinkier so that is supposed to resemble like natural hair i already bleached the knots on it so that it can look more natural on me all i gotta do now is tint the lace so this is the kinky straight five by five closure it is a closure wig so you don't have to worry about having too much hair out you have two combs on the side you have a comb in the back and you have a comb in the middle but y'all know i never use that this wig is 22 inches and like i said earlier it has the 4c edges and this is what my edges look like i did slick them back so we're gonna see if we can mimic these, you know, mimic the hairline. So the first thing I'm gonna do to the wig is apply this uh, even lace spray. I always do this first and then I do my uh, foundation after because it gives like the perfect little tint. And I don't do too much. Then I add a little bit of my foundation. I'm using the Clove by Clinique. And I use this just for my wigs. And I also just add that to the lace, really like at the front. Okay, now we're gonna try it on. Whoa, it does look really natural. What? Don't it? Don't it? <laughs> Don't it? I'm gonna straighten it a little bit. Or maybe, I don't know, add some curls to it. I'm not sure. But like the hairline, don't ignore that right there because we're going to wear This is what the hairline looks like, y'all. Tell me this don't look like my hair straightened out. Like what? Look at the hairline. I think I'm going to cut the lace off first because I'm just, that's what I like to do. So I'm going to take it off. It look good. It look real good on. So we're just going to cut the lace off. I kind of do it like in a zigzag motion. Kind of cutting a little bit of the hair off too. Not too much though. What? <gasps> Bro! It looked like I just got my hair pressed. I mean, it looked like I got my hair pressed and the humidity hit me. <laughs> but I'm about to straighten it. But like, what? This is how long it is on me. Oh. Okay, there's the door, but uh, I'm going to straighten it and show y'all, so let's go ahead and straighten this hair out. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low, make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home You love it when I get so high And drop that thing so low Make you sit right here Now you can't go back home You love it when I get so high And drop that thing so low Make you sit right here Now you can't go back home You love it when I get so high And drop that thing so low Make you sit right here Now you can't go back home I'm drank up and I'm banked up And I'm fake Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. It looks so natural. It looks like it's coming out of my scalp. Like, it's coming out of my scalp. This is what my hairline looks like. And this is what the hairline looks like. 
this is what the wig hairline looks like so good so good so um yeah so it looks like at the back hope i didn't miss any spots has a lot of body a lot of movement thank you so much love me here for sponsoring this video and if you guys are interested in this kinky edge type of wig i see y'all it just looks so natural like it literally looks like i pressed my hair like it just looked like i pressed i mean not my hair because y'all know i ain't got none but when i used to have some it's like the same effect it looks really good so if you guys are interested in this wig i will have the links and everything down below make sure you guys check out their website they have this wig and a ton of other wigs i've worked with them for a long time and all the wigs that they send me always look super nice so yeah um yeah <laughs> so let's get into the rest of the video okay so i'm waiting for my heat press to warm up but i'm about to get some shirts i think i'm gonna do three shirts white gray and black i'm gonna do the cool mom print on gray and white you guys seem to like it in gray on my stories so it's gonna be available in gray and white and possibly mauve in a certain sizes because i really want to get rid of the inventory i have i have a lot of inventory and i keep ordering more stuff and i need to sell the stuff that i have so great and probably peach because i have peach here too but yeah i'm just waiting on my heat press to warm up and then we're going to press these shirts this little press keep on turning the new press it's okay it's okay just gotta get used to all the jerking of it Ooh, it's so pretty. It presses really nice though. Cool mom. So I think I'm wearing this one when I go out. And this will be the first one I take pictures in. I think we're gonna go to the uh the park. I'm gonna do it in white too so y'all can see. Um some stuff once it's gone, it's gone. Like some stuff is not gonna be um restock so if you guys see something it may not be there forever so make sure you snag it when you see it if you like it if you see it want it buy it own it and the words a little flip y'all know nothing about no little flip y'all ain't from houston <laughs> the other cool mom sold out so fast so i'm gonna be restocking the white one too if i can but for right now we got it in black cool mom it looks so nice on um, white okay i'm just pulling up to the post office i have some packages that i made over the weekend the post office is like popping i guess because of you know yesterday was my little king day so i have these packages and then I have some more orders that I have to fulfill, but I'm just, I was just waiting on that package. It's going to come a little later. Hopefully it comes today. But either way, I'm not really late because I had a, a MLK day sale yesterday. So, yeah, I'm about to mail those off and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we just pulled up to the park. The park with the ducks. And I'm about to take, I don't know where I'm going to take my pics. Somewhere in the field. I probably should have parked a little closer over there. But I think I'm going to take somewhere in the field just so I can have a nice, clean, clear background. I just need pictures of the clothes. And it's these four shirts. So I have on this, like, bralette thing. And I'm just going to put the shirts over it. And I have on a waist trainer, too, because when I put waist trainer on, like, it just making my waist look snatched. Hopefully, I'm only out here for, like, 30 minutes because I got to go home. I have to list the products. I have to do my little Instagram try on. I gotta make dinner. I gotta fold clothes. <laughs> so much stuff I have to do. So much stuff I have to do, but let's do it. This is why I set my camera up. I didn't bring my other tripod. Maybe I'll put y'all on the bench, but this is my little setup. I just did pictures in this one. I think they came out looking pretty good. At first I was like going this angle, but it was stupid. So this angle was way better. So yeah, that's me in the camera. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to take some more pics of my other outfits. Oh, maybe I could put y'all on the bench right here. Oh, it's gonna slide. It's gonna slide. Oh, I don't know why I put that on. Okay, photo shoot. 
is a wrap. Okay, so I took this one. This is all the ones I was taking right by that little tree. That's gonna be my little spot. This one is edited. This is the gray, but the gray don't really look. It look gray. It look gray. This is edited, and then this is the white. I think I like that one better. So yeah, that's my picks, and I was doing videos all day today. What's wrong, Boogie? Travel, what you doing? I want a picture. That's not no picture. You doing a video? No. Yes, it's a video. Oh. Is it on? You turned it on at the top. What? Well. Look at. Put it on, mommy. Put it on, mommy. Put it on mommy. Show it on mommy. Put the camera on mommy. Turn the camera to mommy. Take a picture of mommy and turn. Turn it this way. Take a picture. Okay. No, not you. Nobody said for you to take a picture of you. Why are you looking at you? It's your mommy. Yeah. There's no mommy. Look. What? That's how you say hello. You hold it. And you say hello and you talk. Hold it. Don't let it fall. Go, go, go up. You want me to go over there? Yeah. And you going to talk? Look at yourself in, the, in right there and talk. Come on, Tara. You got to put on your own. Um, Tara, what you doing? Hold your own. It's not even on them. Thank you. Hey y'all, so the boys are in their room. I'm about to dye my hair. I had a bit of gel in there, but in the past I've dyed my hair with anything in it. Don't really matter. I'm just dying it black. Like jet black. And then I have two boxes. So whatever I don't use in the first box, I'm uh add that to the bundles. And then use the other box as well. I just want my bundles to match. Oh, I'm going to sew in tomorrow. I don't know if I said that. But um, I don't even know where to put y'all at. So I might just come back. Let me see. This will do it at this weird angle. I'm using the Revlon Black. I usually use blue black. Blue black, but I didn't see that. They had like light blue black or something like that. I was like, what the hell? So... We just gonna mix these. I think this goes inside of here, right? Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've done this a million times. It's pretty self-explanatory. Especially since my hair is so short. I don't even know how this is gonna work out. I'm just so impatient. I wanted to sew in. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Is it booty? A groove thing. Just gonna add it. Especially right here. Really all that matters. That's all that's gonna be out. The front. Little curl pattern, little bouncy. Little bouncy up and now. It's turning black. Ay. It's turning black. Ay. Good morning, Trump Squad. So I am headed to a sew in appointment and it's raining. It's my look. 
seems like every time I go to get my hair like straightened or something, it's always raining. It never fails. Like, what does that mean? What is the universe trying to tell me? Um. Okay, it's over here, like downtownish. It's off Gray Street. Well, midtownish, I guess. I found her on Instagram. So hopefully all turns out right because i want to just get so in oh oh what's this three two two okay it's not this what's the address i'd rather pull in and then turn all the way around the bella yeah okay Valet. How does valet work? Where are you going, man? The Bella. All right. You go right there. Uh -huh. You go right here. Oh, okay. Um, do I dog? We're halfway done, y'all. Got my hair braided down. I need a side part. done y'all all done it looked good like she did amazing job the sewing everything amazing but i still feel my hair like my hair is just too short so i can see like a little a lot of demarcation she was like blending it real nice but i know how my hair is it's gonna have to train and get used to it and all kind of stuff so it looked good though she did it so nicely. I love it. She said it could last four weeks. But, I don't know. I can't wait till my hair grows a little bit more. So it can be easier to blend, you know? A little bit more. But other than that, I think it looked really good. I think she did a good job. <sighs> okay, y'all. Okay, so I just came back from the beauty supply. I got a, a bunch of goodies for my hair. That's an excuse. I love going shopping in the beauty supply. It's so much fun. So, first thing I got was a huge, ginormous bonnet. Hopefully, it's a big bonnet. Let's see how big it is. Purple. Ooh, it is big. Ooh, it's soft too. Ooh, ooh, this is the jumbo, super jumbo bonnet red. It looks nice. If I can find a link to this, I will, because it feels good, too. So, I got that. I got a bristle brush, a brand new bristle brush, because I feel like I need to brush my hair to blend it in, because, yeah, we don't have to train this hair. I can't wait to grow out, y'all. This might be my hairstyle. It was an old lady. She gave me a compliment in the store. My first compliment of the day. I was like, thank you. Um, and then I got this scarf for wrapping my hair up. Just a fresh new scarf for like when I work out or I don't know, at night before I put the bonnet on maybe. I don't know. I just feel like I need a scarf. I got flexi rods so I can flexi rod my hair so I don't have to add heat to it every day because we're going to see how long these bundles could last. Y'all, I'm testing out these bundles. I got them. I ordered them from a vendor, so I don't know. I don't know. I could start selling hair maybe. What y'all think? The quality is nice so far. Nice. First day, I uh, dyed this hair black last night. Dyed my hair black. We're going to have to get this blending together, but the rest of it is amazing. But, like, okay, okay. So, this is one of the textures I'm trying out. Um, and then I got a wax stick. I don't even know if this is a good wax stick, but this is the one I saw. It has some missing, so I was like, yeah, it's, it's Jackie's wax stick. Has anybody ever used this? This is good for blending the hair. Well, I don't know if this brand is good, but she was using a wax stick. 
every time I get my hair done, I be taking notes. And then I just got my favorite lip gloss. I think this is on Amazon too. I'm pretty sure most of the stuff is on Amazon. I'll try to link everything I can. And then I always get my jewelry from the beauty supply. My hoop earrings, I always get them from the beauty supply. I got these. This is a new one. It's like, they're like sparkly. So I was like, that's cute. Sparkly hoops. Okay, okay. And then I got these hoops. They got like some texture to them. I always get my hoops and I like how they, they got small ones and bigger ones. And then I got a whole bunch of little fake studs. Y'all, imagine if I wore real studs. That'd be a tragedy because I lose some things like every day. And then my cousin Ashley told me about this stuff. Has anybody ever used this kaleidoscope drops? She was swearing by it. She was swearing by it. So we're going to see because this was $20, Ashley. But she was like, it's worth it. It gives you moisture, but it don't make your hair greasy. And it make, it, it make your scalp all nice. And I was like, okay. She was talking about me getting this when I had braids. But this is like the same thing. And I do want to keep my uh, scalp moisturized while it's like under here because it's going to be under here for weeks at a time. Take a before pictures to track your growth. Oh, so it's for hair growth? Okay, well, I'll take that too. I'll take that. Um, so, so that's it. That concludes my new sew-in beauty supply haul. And um, the stylist, she recommended this stuff. I got to go to Ulta tomorrow to get it. And I'll probably get some type of shampoo from Ulta. Because I know they be having the good stuff. And I want to just use good stuff on my hair. Mmm. It's so pretty. But this leave out. But it's so, oh my God, it's so pretty. When it grows out, I'm going to be so happy. We'll see how it is when I work out and stuff. But I think this could be, this could be my style. This could be my style. Could be. Could not be. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the stuff that the stylist recommended. Y'all, I was about to get this. It was something like wax thick but black. Like, and then I put it on my hand. I was like, why would anybody want that? I guess if they balding, maybe. I don't know. It was weird. But um, the stuff that the stylist recommended from Ulta, is, she said it's good for you spray it on your hair and it helps with the humidity your hair won't be getting puffy and stuff. And she recommended this other stuff. She recommended a couple products. She said they were at Ulta. So I'm going to check that out. And then see what kind of like shampoos. Or like if they have like a keratin treatment or something. I don't know. Just like an excuse to go shopping at Ulta. I wonder if I have a Ulta coupon at my mom's house. Because that's where they go to. Or if Katie have one. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. So I am on my way to mail off packages again, yet again. Last night I made like 20 orders. It wasn't 20 shirts, it was more than 20 shirts, but I fulfilled like 20 orders. Today I did like three more, so I'm almost all caught up. What is that blurriness? Is that this? Is the camera blurry right there? Is this lens blurry? I don't even know what to wipe y'all down with. I don't even got. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to like, once I'm done driving, once I stop driving, I'm gonna have to like wipe down on my shirt or something. Or is it just blurry right there in the camera? I don't know, but it don't really matter about right there anyway. Today I woke up, um, I curled my hair just a little bit with my flat iron and I didn't do nothing to my leave out. So it's still, you can definitely tell the leave out the difference, but like I said, when my hair grow a few more inches, it's gonna be easier to blend, but it's just like very noticeable right now. But I try, I didn't uh, put no heat on my leave out. I'm trying to use heat on it as little as possible. I'm only like, when it's like in dire need or if I wanna go somewhere and be like extra crispy and fresh or something like that. So other than that, every day wear, I'm just gonna have to wear it like this until my hair grow out a little bit more. I'm gonna try.